Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be checking out all the Christmas festivities they have to offer this year. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar has transformed into the Holiday Bar and they have a lot of cool holiday themed drinks and food items there. And then also the Christmas Tree Trail is back so we're going to drink some drinks, eat some food and have a joyful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. I have to say it is the perfect day to be checking out holiday offerings at Disney Springs. The temperature is in the 50s and they say that it might actually drop to the 40s tonight. So 40 degree weather in Orlando and it's only November. I always come out to Disney Springs every single month to show you guys all the new offerings and I already did the month of November about two weeks ago but since then they added all of the amazing Christmas like festivities so I wanted to come out and show you but we will come back in December and we'll try the Gideon's cookie of the month and all the things we normally do today it's all about the holidays Two of my absolute favorite things to do at Disney Springs during the holidays are back this year. Like I mentioned, the Christmas tree stroll and then the Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. And I'm so excited. I've seen some of the menu items and they are so incredible looking. I can't wait to try them. And then also a lot of other things all around the springs that we're going to explore as well. The Christmas tree stroll is free and you can pick up the maps for it at different locations all around Disney Springs and it's so cool because you go around and you try to find these themed Christmas trees and they added a lot of new ones this year and I'm excited. I'm going to show you a couple of them but uh, a couple I'm going to leave out because it's kind of like a scavenger hunt so I don't want to ruin it for you and uh, then we're going to eat some food. To give you a brief summary, you go around Disney Springs and you try to find the theme tree and when you do, you put the sticker on it. So they have like a Black Panther one, they have a Guardians of a Galaxy one, a Disney Wish one, and then you put the sticker on it when you find it. And if you find them all, at the end, you get a special little holiday surprise. I was walking through the springs and I came across this tree and I couldn't figure it out right away what it was because it kind of looks like a little like cat tree and then a bunch of regular ornaments but then I noticed the sheriff badge but really what gave it away was the big one. Look at this. I love that. It's a Toy Story tree and I love that. It's got to be one of my favorite ornaments. The big one. If you guys remember the movie, that is so awesome. What a cool ornament. You don't need a reservation for Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. In fact, they don't even have reservations. It's all just walk up. And right now they're a little bit full. So we're going to come back and now we're going to go around, look at some of the Christmas trees and then also head over the dock side because I think they have a candy cane margarita. And that just sounds like so interesting. A candy cane margarita. And here is the candy cane margarita. Look at it. It actually looks really, really good. It comes with a peppermint syrup, lime juice, silver Patron, and then a splash of grenadine on the top there. And then it's got like the candy cane rim there. And I'm excited. We're going to dive on in. And I like how they give you like a little candy cane, like candy. But I, I would have thought they would have added like an actual candy cane. But it's like a candy candy cane. A candy candy cane. All right, here we go. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that's got a strange taste at first. Kind of, kind of tastes like a mojito and then you get the tequila. It's really strange. Hmm. Not going to say I don't like it because I think I do. You can definitely taste that peppermint simple syrup there. Maybe if you mix it around a little bit. I mean, it actually is like a really, really good uh, margarita. Now, it is $16.50 though, so I gotta throw that out there. $16.50 margarita. It's more expensive than Mexico. Maybe I need to get a little bit of the candy cane uh, salted rim there. Ooh, that makes a, wow. That makes it really, really delicious. 
I'm not the biggest fan of margaritas, but I feel like it can definitely appeal to a margarita fan. Now, what I am a fan of is old fashions, and at the Boathouse, they have a Christmas old fashioned, which is my all time favorite. They used to have it on the menu year round, and now they brought it back. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get back out here and try that. I mean, not today because we're gonna go to the holiday bar and they have good drinks too, but uh, for the margarita, I think I might pass. Right next to Dockside Margaritas, they also have a nice little like waffle stand where you can get a Santa Mickey cookies and cream waffle sundae and it's the bubble waffles. And this is actually really cool looking. I mean, if we weren't going over to the holiday bar where we're gonna try a lot of other, you know, desserts and food items, I think I might get this, but it does look fun. Look at that. Something else you could do at Disney Springs that doesn't cost anything is go meet Santa Claus. There's an actual Santa Claus photo opportunity here and it's all done through the virtual queue and uh, it's free it's like absolutely free so I'm gonna show you where it's at and uh, maybe we'll get a chance to see the big jolly man himself <laughs> Right here at Once Upon a Toy is where Santa is actually meeting and greeting guests. Oh, I actually heard him just say ho, ho, ho. I wonder if we can get a peek -see from him in the inside there. The store is open, but I think you have to wait for the virtual queue. There he is. Look at that. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. I heard that ho, ho, ho from out there. I got excited. Yeah, well, I hope you have a great Christmas. See you soon. <laughs> That was really cool, Santa said hi to me. I did get a virtual queue, but it's like two hours from now, so I'm not too sure if we're gonna go back for it, but uh, I was able to at least say hi to him real quick. I heard his ho 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 literally standing outside the building, and I thought that was funny. A couple of other trees I wanted to show you, and these are some of my personal favorites. We have the Nightmare Before Christmas tree right here. Look at this. This one is really cool. I mean, because I like a Nightmare Before Christmas, and then right next to it over there, they have the Haunted Mansion one, which I think is usually everyone's favorite. I feel like it's a, a big crowd pleaser, you know? It's funny because the Haunted Mansion tree that was here last year, uh, it looks like the same, but it is a different tree because I had the opportunity to actually buy the exact one that was here last year, but they did take all the Haunted Mansion stuff out of it. And uh, this year, I feel like they made the trees a little bit bigger. Look at that, isn't it so cool? I don't know, I can't see the bride's heart though. Usually she has like a little red heart there, but look at these Santa books. Look at this, a Haunted Mansion tree. That is so cool looking. I like this a lot. And enough of the tree business. Let's make our way back on over to the Holiday Bar. I'm sure it's probably a less busy at this point. I mean, you never know. The Holiday Bar is pretty popping, especially during the season. I also want to point out, I love all of the Christmas decorations they have at Disney Springs. Look at these little snowmen made of bobs. They're snow bobs. I like it. It's really fancy. It's right outside the boathouse, so it kind of fits. The theming is uh, impeccable. All right, here we go. It's time to head on in the holiday bar. And look how festive it is in here. Merry Christmas! <laughs> I love it. You can see the lighting already. The music. It's seriously a good time. Look at all these decorations and the presents up there. Oh wow, that's a little creepy. You see the ventriloquist, uh, the ventriloquist uh, Santa Claus there? That is funny. Very nice. Snowman up there. Here is a look at the Hangar Happy Holidays menu from Jock and Reggie. You guys know who Reggie is, let me know in the comments. I always love asking people. Actually, if anybody knows what Jock Lindsay's actually is, like where it came from, it's always a fun little trivia question. But uh, the holiday food actually looks really cool. A lot of the stuff they had last year, but they did add a couple of new things. And here we come, a croquetting is one of the things I'm excited for. I was never much of a singer, but who doesn't love a good carol. Turkey croquettes with sweet potato puree, bacon cranberry jam, turkey gravy, and sugared rosemary sprig. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then they've got Grandma's Revenge uh, venison sliders, a naughty or nice deviled eggs, and everything's like $15, $12. Not too bad. And then down here they have the drinks. They have a hot cocoa grail flight. They've got the uh, milk and cookies with co uh, coquito and also a Cosmo. 
it's like a a Cosmo, but a Santa Clausmo. It'll definitely be checking this twice. I like all the sayings on it too. It's very cool. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing croquettes right or if I'm calling it the like the game that you play in the yard. But on top of those, I got the hot cocoa flight, which honestly looks really cool and it's different than like the hot cocoa float uh, flight that you would get at Hollywood Studios. So I'm excited to try both of them. I love just sitting in here, listening to the music and looking at all the decorations. You got Frosty. Oh yeah, little snap. <laughs> you got the Defender motor oil can up there. It's just so pretty in here. I like it a lot. Do you know that ice machine over there actually makes ice, Kristen? That's the inside of an ice machine, if you ever wonder what it was. That's an ice machine and it actually makes ice. Every once in a while it'll go off. I'll show you guys a look inside there. Does ice actually come out? Yes. It shows you how ice is made. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. Wow, which one is which? Holy moly. Holy moly. Wait a minute. Do you get to keep this? <laughs> I wish, right? All right, here is the hot cocoa flight, and this looks amazing. I love the presentation. You have chosen wisely. I feel like I did. It says Jock Lindsay's hangar bar back there, and it just looks so cool. This might be the best hot chocolate flight I think I've ever seen. This one right here is the spiced caramel with Captain Morgan in it. And then this one is the cookies and cream with white chocolate and vanilla stoli. And then this one has to be the uh, peppermint with Bailey's Irish cream and creme de menthe. And this just looks amazing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to dive in. If they sold this as something you could buy, I'm pretty sure I would buy it. Like, the, the board and the cups all together. It cost $22 on its own, but if they sold it for like 50 bucks, I think I would do it. I think I would definitely get it, and we're going to dive in. So I'm going to start off with the Salted Caramel Captain Morgan one. Look at this. Oh, wow. That is good. Holy moly. Oh, boy. Oh, now I can't wait to try the white chocolate one. Look at that. This looks so good. The white chocolate one all the way for me. That white chocolate one's gonna be hard to beat, but a little peppermint. Much too good. Honestly, it's hard to rank these because I sincerely love them all. I really, really do. But I think I'm gonna have to go with the white chocolate one, the cookies and cream. It's just so good. Cookies and cream, and then the peppermint, and then the Captain Morgan. But this is honestly one of the best things I think I've ever purchased. I love it so much. Enough of the hot cocoa business. Here are the turkey croquettes. Croquettes, croquettes. I don't know which way I'm saying it. If I'm saying it right, maybe I am saying it right. And just kind of think of leftover Thanksgiving because it has stuffing, turkey, sweet potato puree, a little bit of everything in there. And I'm so excited. Last year, they had a sweet potato empanada here and it was so amazing. Miss D, who is the chef here, never fails to just astonish me with the dishes. And I come every single time there's a new menu because she's fantastic. So I have huge high expectations. All right, let's dive in here. And I wanna make sure I get a little bit of everything in one bite. So I got all that sweet potato puree. Look at that. It's gonna be so good. One meatball. All right, here we go. I am gonna have to say, everything that I've had here so far is probably some of the best food offerings for the holidays that I've had so far. And uh, Miss D, you just did a great job. I know you watched the video, so I wanna say I absolutely love it. And also, uh, Kristen got the brie flatbread. Look at that. Ham and brie flatbread with pomegranate seeds, which I think is... Ah, chef's, chef's kiss. kiss. Ah, and uh, yeah, the hot cocoa flight. What about you, Sean? What'd you get? I, um, he just got here. Just got here. <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing today in Central Florida, isn't it? It's chilly, 65 degrees, and man's wearing shorts and short sleeves. I don't even own pants. This man was through New York City with just shorts and short sleeves. This man, this man can handle this. <laughs> microphone. I'm just gonna keep on uh, drinking my. Uh, cookies and cream because it is so good. 
<laughs> also, I didn't realize, but I missed the gravy, so I'm coming back. I'm coming back for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Now we got a little bit of everything in one bite. Cheers, everyone. Everyone looks all cozy and festive. Look at this. We got our, we got our Christmas gear on. Yep, sipping some hot cocoa. This is nice. Jingle Bells is playing right now. This is minty. Yep. What a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle Bell time. It's a swell time. So to go right riding now. in a one horse sleigh. <laughs> it is really going to be hard to top uh, Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar because that was just such an awesome experience. You guys definitely have to check it out. And also, they had deviled eggs in there that looked so festive. They're like naughty or nice. You have to choose which ones you want. And I would have gotten them, but the croquettes were just so good. Now we've made our way over to the boathouse because I had to come get the Christmas Old Fashioned. This is my all-time favorite drink. And uh, we're going out to the Dockside Bar. Look how beautiful it is out right now. Look at this. And then look at that right there. What a shot, right? We're getting a Christmas Old Fashioned, but it doesn't seem like it. It is just so absolutely beautiful out right now. I love it. The sunset is just looking immaculate. You can see the ducks in the water, the ampia cars and the balloon. And uh, we're gonna drink a little old fashioned. This is so beautiful. Oh, the headlights are on too. And here it is, the Christmas old fashioned. Looks like we got a mistletoe in a glass. This is so good though. And look at, enjoying it with a nice little view. Got the ampia car out there. This is such a beautiful, this is a beautiful time. Definitely, if you are an old-fashioned fan, you're going to want to get this one. It is so good. With the rosemary in there, oh. Much too good. And look at this, here comes the Ampicar. car. Letters red. Christmas letters red. This holiday season. All right, I feel like I have been influenced because that sunset is just so remarkable. I don't think sitting on the dock is going to do it justice. So I think we're going to hop in one of the Ampia cars and go out and get an up close look. There she is. We're taking the red one, huh? For wow, for Christmas. <laughs> Stranger drive that car into a body of water. Yes, and I feel like I'm gonna sink. Oh. We're not gonna sink. We're just gonna fly right on in. Are you excited? I'm excited. You ready to go? I'm <laughs> fun, sir. All right, I call shotgun. You're like, oh, Merry God. Christmas. Oh, like Michael Scott, we're gonna drive <laughs> the GPS. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jim. Does anybody know where the clutch is? Um, where the clutch I'll is? It's one of them. It's four pedals. I'll try to get Oh. Are we ready? We're ready. We <laughs> it's happening. So Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're dropping straight down, guys. I see a duck. Does anybody want to change their mind? I'm yeah. Nope. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Look at us. Holiday festive. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Everybody look up and right and missing. wait. Look at this. Awesome. It's amazing. Awesome. So, welcome. The sunset is remarkable. Yeah. Kristen, how you doing? Okay, let's try this here. We're really close to the water. Kristen's really close to the water right now. We are pretty close to the water. It's choppy out here. Look at it as we hit the water. Now, every single uh, Ampia car comes with uh, a life jacket and umbrellas. How many Ampia cars are in the world? It's about 400. About 400 of them. So, Many of which are in Europe, there's a handful in South America, Australia, and Canada, the rest wow. of the United States, privately owned or museums. That's so awesome. It is. Gotta say hi to everyone. Hi! Merry Christmas! Ho ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at paddlefish! 
The battle group was originally known as the Empress Lily. Name Empress Lily. Yes. Name Walt Lily Disney's wife. Lily and Disney. And it was actually a shopping district too. Isn't that cool? Yep. And before it was a restaurant, it was like a bunch of different shops. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut though? Hi! Merry Hi! Christmas! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. This is the best, isn't it? it Happy it, holidays. A little terrifying still. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. You're fine. I'm just terrified of cold weather. Cold water. Look at this. We're gonna we're coming back to the sunset now. Look at that view right there. Ain't she a view, Clark? Wow. Alright, Nate. That is amazing. Look at that. Christmas song a little uh, bit. Santa I'm dreaming of a white, white Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> just, just like, like the ones I used, used to know. <laughs> Look at this view right here. Look at that. What the view here? It's amazing. Awesome. Oh, awesome! It's amazing. Look at this. I think we're heading in now, are we? Oh boy, we're heading in. We're gonna drive right up on this ramp. Drive us right there, car. done that in forever the last time I did it I actually did it with my mom I, I, I think I've only done it maybe two or three times I've done it with Adam Adam the Woo and my mom and my sister and it was great to actually do it again and fun fact if you guys get your little Christmas tree stroll there is a coupon on, on in here that'll save you $25 so you save $25 on the actual Amphicar experience. And I think it's about $125 per 20 minutes. So you're saving a, a very good chunk there and it fits up to three people. Well, you could do four people if it's a, a young child, like three in the back seat, but it's a lot of fun. The views are amazing. Try to catch the sunset because as you've seen, it was just kind of breathtaking actually. It was surreal being out there. It's gonna be hard to top the Amphicar, but look at this. Got a little live entertainment happening. Yeah! We could have used these guys in the boat. I love how the festive live entertainment is kind of taking over the springs and now we're gonna keep moving along keep our eye out for some more trees and hopefully maybe a little snow even though there's lots of little Christmas trees all around Disney Springs they do have a main Christmas tree and that's it right here that's the one isn't she a beaut Clark and this is where it normally snopes too I don't know if they're doing it tonight but usually they have snope 
and it's so pretty over here. Look at this. I don't think this is a part of the Christmas tree trail though. I think this is just its own thing. I'm its own thing. David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't she a Butte Clark? I already said that. <laughs> yeah. Isn't she a Butte Clark? <laughs> it is very nice though. I feel like they definitely added a lot more lights to the springs. Like every single palm tree is covered and I'm here for it. Look at how pretty this is. Look at all the palm trees all lit up with care and they're sparkling and shining. This is nice. Oh, and also I think we're going to see a couple of more trees as we start to make our way out here because uh, they're a little bit more lit up now. Oh yeah, some of them look very beautiful from here. <laughs> this tree right here is the Disney Plus tree. It's all lit up with the blue. And then I believe this one, I'm not too sure what this one is. Oh, you don't know this one? What is that one? Uh, oh, it's frozen. Uh, it's frozen. I see it now. Look at that. I think Nate needs glasses. What's the QR codes for? Well, that's an Olaf tree. I don't know what the QR codes are for. But let it go, would you? <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today it was a fun festive day i wish we could have went back and met santa claus uh we already missed our return time but i don't know i'm pretty sure you have all the time uh maybe an hour after your return time is called but we still got a lot accomplished and jock Lindsay's was fantastic going in the ampty car was so much fun i really enjoyed my time here and we'll be back for gideon's when they do uh, release a new december cookie which i hear that they're doing it actually on november 25th so that's going to be an added benefit and i feel like all of walt disney world is going to be 100 percent for christmas on november 25th because that's also when uh epcot starts all of its festivities so it's going to be interesting but i had a lot of fun today so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and we'll see you next time bye i am so sorry gracie i forgot to get the pup cakes i forgot to get the pup cups I'm so sorry. I do have a cookie to offer you if you don't mind. I'll trade you a cookie for some love. Look at how she likes to sit underneath this. This is a Polynesian desk actually from the Polynesian Resort. And she likes to sit under here. I got like a little living room set up for her. But do you want the cookie? Is the cookie not good enough for you? Oh, there you go. Where are you taking this? <laughs> Where are you going? You're gonna take it over here? I hope you guys like that I add Gracie at the end. She brightens up my day, so I figured maybe she'll brighten up your day too. <laughs> Listen to that. She loves it. She also loves Chewbacca and Santa Claus. Well, she doesn't want to. Eat. Oh. What? Why did I give you this one? There. Oh, okay. I love you. Boop.